Hello, you're watching the Simon Says YouTube channel. Oh, actually, in, in a way, you're listening to it. This is my quick and res uh, responsive response to all of my latest videos and so on. Um, first off, I want to respond to some of the comments. There was someone saying music's too loud, and someone also said just lose the music. Um, it's uh, hard for me, but I'll try it. Anything to gain followers and maybe to become the next South African major YouTuber star. Uh, so in the next video, I'll do it. Uh, yeah, as I said at the moment, it's the holiday season. The biggest holiday in the, in the, year, in the year, basically. Sorry about that. Uh, little, uh, yeah. Um, it's the holiday season. It's November, middle of, middle of November, and it's Christmas everywhere. If you go into a game store or maybe any clicks or freaking spa, it's just Christmas just vomited all over. So basically, it is the holiday season. If you li like it or not, it's the holiday season. So the thing is, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos over the time period. And the thing is, Christmas has somehow taken over November and December. Why don't they just declare November, December as Christmas? Wouldn't that be just much better? Because the thing is, my, personally, and this is something you, some of you guys don't know about me, is I'm just a Christmas nutcase. I can't get enough about Christmas. Christmas movies, Christmas-themed specials, Christmas shows, Christmas music. Anything that's related to Christmas, I will love it. So basically, yeah, I am just the biggest Christmas fanatic in my area, basically. And the thing is, when someone discovers it about it, that I'm this nutcase about Christmas, they'll be looking at me like, what? Um, why? You're this grown person and you're nuts about Christmas because I'm where I live is this farming community. They are all about farming, tractors, uh, harvesting, you know, all that. And... Um, they, they, they don't have time for that. The thing is, besides Christmas, I'm also a huge animation fanatic. Um, I'm a little, I think I'll make another video about that in the future. Uh, I'm a huge, huge, huge anime fanatic. Now, you get horror fanatics, you get action fanatics, you get movie fanatics. Now, I am overall an animation fanatic. Uh, anything animated related. Um... Animation movies, series, cartoons, comic books, you name it. So basically, I am a comic book cartoon fanatic. Can't get enough of the stuff. Um, so back at the, as I said, it's the holiday season. And for, for me, for the, mid, the month of November, that means it's harvesting season. Now, harvest seeding for me and for many of the people around me in the area is means that basically it's grape harvesting season now grape harvesting season lasts around mid november through december and mid january i might be wrong about that but that is the length of how long we take to harvest grapes here in our area um yeah and there's many many varieties of grapes and the thing is, in my job where I drive the whole day in my bucky, yeah, I'll use the word bucky, um, I go to many farms. And the thing is, it was, it is a long day's drive. Uh, I deliver like labels and, and file work and all of that. Now, yeah, so yeah, it's the grape harvest scene. You can't avoid it. Everywhere you go, it's almost like this, as I said previously with the Christmas, it's almost like that, yeah. You can't avoid it. Everywhere you look, you realize it's the grape harvest season. So, yeah, it's the grape harvest season, and um, so, yeah, it, you can't avoid it, basically. It is the grape harvest season, and when they come with, with the grape harvest season, you get heat, and I mean it's hot. Even the devil will think it is hot here. Heck, it's hot. Um, so yeah, so when the grape harvest season comes and you know it is 
Gray boss and you know summer is at your front door and it's gonna get hot 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 around here right um my next topic is I just want to give a little uh, congratulations I know it's a little bit late I know I know I'm not as quick and fast as some youtubers are out there but hey we are still celebrating we are we are rugby world cup champions we are rugby world cup champions not many country can say they have won the rugby world cup three times so if one of you baka listening here out there congratulations on the amazing win of the rugby world cup 2019 um keep up the good work and let's see in the next rugby world cup uh, and then finally, I want to give a little sneak peek on my next big YouTube video. Uh, uh, bef- while I was recording my previous video with the Castle Blogger Band, uh, Smart Band, uh, I was using a old, uh, not old, I'm not going to use that word again. Uh, I'll use that word. Um, aged is a nicer word. Yeah. Aged surround sound system. Uh, nice. 5.1 surround sound Blu-ray system. Um, it was time go starting to show its age, and I was itching to get a new one. So while my friend, who was the guy in the camera work in the last video, uh, hands up, hands up for him. He was amazing behind the camera. Um, he recommended me. We I, I was just talking around and saying, well, I want a new system, a new system to basically boost up my movie and TV experience and uh, as we were talking he was on take a lot uh, that's one sponsorship I'd love to have <laughs> I love take a lot products and the website he showed me this sound system a Yamaha 5.1 channel surround sound system it doesn't have a dvd or blu-ray player that's not bad that's not so that the worst i have a, a playstation 4 here you can do both at the same time uh, not the same time sorry about that uh both blu-ray and dvds and um and it's actually not bad actually it actually increases the dvd quality of the dvd and the blu-ray so basically, yeah, I'm fine actually with the DVD Blu-ray player as the PlayStation 4. It may take some time loading, unloading the DVDs in the Blu-rays because of you have to re- you have to start boot up the PlayStation just to watch a movie. That's fine with me. Um, and already I have a 4K TV, not one of the best, but it it, it does the job done. Okay, it gets the job done here on in my room. Um, yeah, so basically you can. Wa- uh, Look out for my next unboxing video. That is basically unboxing of the Yamaha. Uh, let me just get the correct name of the system here. Uh, opening the Take a Lot app available on the Apple Store and the Android Play Store. Um, opening orders. Yeah, there we go. There it is the Yamaha YHT 1840 home theater system in black. It has a four, uh, five surround sound satellite speakers, a subwoofer, and it comes with a nice amp, that which will boost and enhance the sound from anything it goes through that amplifier, from TV to your movies, even your video games. Uh, I will be unboxing that hopefully somewhere around next week when I get the chance again, and um, yeah, and I'm. I, I'm, you don't know, you can't see my face, but I am excited to open that box. Uh, it's been some time uh, since I've bought a big, expensive upgrade. I mean, the last big upgrade was the sound system that I just sold to someone. Um, that was a good eight, nine years ago. So it was time that I upgraded to something newer, something bigger, uh, uh, nice and louder. Um, yeah. So I'll be unboxing that, and I'll be, I'll be um, re- uh, premiering a little a soundtrack. A friend of mine is made has made. Uh, I'll be revealing his name, and then the song 
of these uh, the name of the song sorry about that that he created uh yeah so yeah so thanks for what listening on my simon says makeshift podcast um please stay tuned subscribe comment down below and yeah okay let me start over there uh like comment share, subscribe and share my youtube channel because i have a dream of becoming the next big south african youtuber so please um yeah uh, like comment uh, subscribe and please share my youtube channel thank you for listening bye